In this video, we're going to talk about the note-taking function of our CAD system. If you're not sure how to get here, please go back and watch the first one in this dispatch series on how to access the CAD system. So down here, you'll notice our timeline. And one of the first things we need to do is select our name out of the list. So in that case, I'm going to pick the dispatcher that was on duty for this class. And now I can type anything that I want in this box. I hit enter and it puts a note down here. It also tags it with a little tag that says dispatcher and it has the last few characters of my last name so that we can track it. So that's the simplicity of typing notes is anything you want, hit enter and in it goes. You'll notice down here we have some of these kind of orange looking call takes. So imagine that you're a dispatcher working in a large metro system where there's separate 911 desks from radio desks. Somewhere in another room, there are other operators that are taking the 911 calls and putting those notes into the CAD system. And you're strictly working the incident and working the radio desk, and those notes from those 911 calls are coming into your CAD, and they come in here as call take. And so this is your 911 information that's going to come in over time as you're doing the incident. Now, one of the things that you'll need to do as a dispatcher during the incident is look at that 911 information and figure out what it what of that information you need to relay to the responding units. Some of it is really important, some of it isn't, and that's part of what we're going to go through in training. Things like suspect descriptions can be very important, uh, those kinds of things. So you'll learn more about that in class. Now the other thing that I wanted to tell you about the timeline is the uh, notation for the command positions. So one of the challenges that can occur in these types of incidents is when the units self-organize into different ICS units. They quit using their radio ID, their normal unit ID on the radio, and instead they're using their incident command. For example, imagine Patrol 101, 102, and 103 become Contact Team 1. They're not going to refer to themselves anymore as 101, 102, or 103. They're going to call themselves Contact 1. Well, this CAD system is set up to do that. So if we have a note, we can simply type in CON1, note from contact 1, and the system is going to be able to tag that with the contact 1 label. So essentially what happens is it tries to figure out what the first word is that you've typed and see if it either matches the command label or the unit label. So for example, let's say that engine 1 was part of an RTF. They were RTF2. So we can simply type RTF2, uh, moving up, hit enter, and it tags it as RTF2. This little view command legend button right here will show you what those shortcuts are, but I'll save you the surprise. It's the first three letters of the command position. So for command, it's COM, staging STA, uh, operations, OPS, law enforcement branch, uh, law, also LEB. Contact teams are CON plus the number or CT plus the number. Rescue task forces can be RTF plus the number or RES, on and on and on. And so that can really help you because when the units go to staging and they come out of staging as these organized teams, you don't know which unit it is. And so this will let, let you kind of keep track of what's going on. The other thing that it recognizes aside from those command labels is the unit labels. So let's say uh, 101 reports on scene, we can type in P101 and it recognizes that as a unit. Uh, for the engines, for example, engine 01, you do have to do engine 01 as opposed to engine one uh, on scene. And it recognizes engine one. Same thing with the ambulance, A01, um, and on and on. And that's all there is to the note-taking function. It keeps the most recent notes up here at top, and then it scrolls down to the bottom. So you can scroll down if you need to, to kind of look at those things. The other thing you can do is filter it. Like let's say you miss some call take information or you want to look at it and get rid of all this other noise. You can click the call take tab and it'll filter out everything except the call take information. Same thing with the unit tabs and with the command tabs. It filters out for the different tabs that it's labeled. And that just gives you a quick way to filter. The only other thing I haven't mentioned is the hospital counts here. In some systems, the EMS agency or the fire department, when they're working a mass casualty incident, they may call the dispatch and request the hospital bed counts. So in this case, hospital A can take three greens, two yellows, one red, hospital B, three greens, two yellow, three red, on and on. These numbers are different for each scenario, but once the scenario starts, those numbers do not change. 
So that's it for this one. We're going to come back and talk about the radio panel in our next.